thyroid tumors. Definition. Most primary tumors of the thyroid are of follicular epithelial origin, a few arise from parafollicular C cells. The most common benign thyroid neoplasm is a follicular adenoma. Malignant tumors of the thyroid are less common. But thyroid carcinoma is the most common type. Though rarely lymphomas and sarcomas also occur. Follicular adenoma. Follicular adenoma is the most common benign thyroid tumor. Occurring more frequently in adult women. Clinically, it appears as a solitary nodule which can be found. In approximately 1% of the population. Besides the follicular adenoma, other conditions which may produce clinically apparent solitary nodule in the thyroid are a dominant nodule of nodular goiter and thyroid carcinoma. It is thus important to distinguish adenomas from these two conditions. Though most adenomas cause no clinical problem and behave as a cold nodule, rarely they may produce mild hyperthyroidism and appear as hot nodule on Rayu studies. Adenoma, however, rarely ever becomes malignant. Morphologic features. Grossly, the follicular adenoma is characterized by four features so as to distinguish it from a nodule of nodular goiter. 1. Solitary nodule. 2. Complete encapsulation. 3. Clearly distinct architecture inside and outside the capsule. 4. Compression of the thyroid parenchyma outside the capsule. Usually, an adenoma is small up to 3 cm in diameter, and spherical. On cut section, the adenoma is gray-white to red-brown. Less colloidal than the surrounding thyroid parenchyma and may have degenerative changes such as fibrous scarring, focal calcification, hemorrhages and cyst formation. Histologically, the tumor shows complete fibrous encapsulation. The tumor cells are benign follicular epithelial cells forming follicles of various sizes or may show trabecular, solid and cord patterns, with little follicle formation. Accordingly, the following six types of growth patterns are distinguished. Though more than one pattern may be present in a single tumor. 1. Microfollicular, fetal, adenoma consists of small follicles containing little or no colloid and separated by abundant loose stroma. 2. Normofollicular, simple, Adenoma has closely packed follicles, like that of normal thyroid gland. 3. Macrofollicular, colloid, adenoma contains large follicles, of varying size and distended with colloid. 4. Trabecular, embryonal, adenoma resembles embryonal thyroid, and consists of closely packed solid or trabecular pattern, of epithelial cells with an occasional small abortive follicle. 5. Hertless cell, oxyphilic. Adenoma is an uncommon variant, composed of solid trabeculae of large cells having abundant granular oxyphilic cytoplasm and vesicular nuclei. The tumor cells do not form follicles and contain little stroma. 6. Atypical adenoma is the term used for a follicular adenoma which has more pronounced cellular proliferation so that features may be considered indicative of malignancy such as pleomorphism increased mitoses and nuclear atypia. These tumors, however, do not show capsular and vascular invasion. Features which distinguish it from follicular carcinoma. Diagnosis of follicular adenoma. The diagnosis of follicular thyroid cancer cannot be made by fine needle aspiration of a thyroid nodule. The diagnosis of follicular thyroid cancer in a thyroid nodule can only be obtained by complete removal of the thyroid mass. The diagnosis of follicular thyroid cancer accounts for less than 10% of all thyroid cancers. Treatment. Follicular thyroid cancers with high risk features or distant spread of disease are treated with higher doses in the 150 millicury range. Follicular thyroid cancers can also be treated with radioactive iodine based upon a method called dosimetry. This is a radiation physics determination utilizing complex mathematical methods to determine the actual dose of radiation that will be delivered to a particular area of follicular thyroid cancer.